guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Dummies. Today, I got so many requests to do something Lego, and I got a lot of messages from people saying, Ro, I'm a beginner baker. Would you please bake something that's easy mode? So I thought, why not combine these two things? Today, I'm going to make an easy mode Lego cake. I love Legos. I have been playing with them and collecting them since I was a little kid. And I even started a baking collection. See, I got my little Nerdy Dummies set down here. Oh, hey guys, it's Ro. Let me just open my, oh, open my oven. Oh yeah, and stick a little, oops. <laughs> stick, a, stick a little cup, oh, oh God. I need to glue these down. Stick a little cupcake in the oven and put it on 350 and bake for 20 minutes. Yay! The things we'll need will be one box cake mix. I'm using a yellow box cake, but you can also use pound cake. That's a really good solid cake to take a square shape. The recipe includes one stick of butter, three eggs, and one cup of water. You'll also need pan breaking spray to grease your pan. The pan I'm gonna use is a rectangle pan. Yellow, red, green, blue food coloring, or whatever color you would like your Lego bricks to be, cream frosting, and big marshmallows. Not the little ones, the big ones. Not jumbo though, those are the huge ones. The big, the medium, the medium marshmallow. Let's put this all together. <laughs> Then mix it together for two minutes on a low speed. Once your mixture is all smooth and ready to go in the pan, you're gonna take your pan baking spray, or you can grease your pan with butter, that's fine too, and just spray all the corners, make sure you get all the edges. There we go. Actually, it smells really good now. They must have added a scent like a vanilla or something in there. Oh, they changed the smell of these. Now you're gonna take your batter and just pour it in like that. Now you're gonna heat your oven to 350 and bake for about 40 minutes. Yum, 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 yum. While your cake is baking, we are going to dye all of our frostings. So you're just gonna take vanilla white creamy frosting, scoop it into a bowl, like so. It's very sticky. Get in there. And just start by dyeing. I'm gonna do yellow first, so I want a yellow brick. And then mix it around. Oh yeah, oh, oh. And make a mess on your table. Once you get your frosting the color that you like, time to do the other ones. Once you get your frostings all colored, take your cake out of the oven and make sure it's had plenty of time to cool. I put mine in the fridge for about 10 minutes so that it's nice and cool. We are now going to level using a little cake leveler and you're just gonna walk it through the cake so that we have a nice flat top and Take up the excess, oh yeah. Now what you're gonna wanna do is cut your cake into thirds. You'll need a sharp cutting knife. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Now we've got our Lego bricks cut. We got our two long and our two short. I got this idea from the girls at Betty Crocker online. It was a really, really cool idea. I really like it. So we're gonna take one of these, let's take a long one, and we are gonna frost it. Let's do this one yellow, cause yellow sunshine happy. You're gonna actually frost two layers. The first layer is what the Betty Crocker girls called the crumb coat. Because we've cut up this cake a lot, all of the sides are exposed and it creates a lot of crumbs. So you'll put on one coat, pop it in the fridge for about 20 minutes, and then put on a second coat. Now we're just gonna frost the whole thing, all four sides and the top. And you can get really messy with it because we're gonna pick up the cake later and put it on a new surface. So feel free to get messy. I just took this cake out of the fridge. It's nice and cool. And now we're gonna add marshmallows so that they look like Lego bricks. I'm so excited. 
I saw this tip online, it's super easy from the Betty Crocker girls. You just take baking scissors and a little bit of Pam baking spray and you spray your scissors, just a little bit. Oh, there we go, so that there. Nice and greasy when you cut your marshmallows. So what you're gonna do is take your marshmallow and just cut it in half. And they don't stick, because the scissors are greased. Ah! Okay, and now what we're gonna do is dip them into the frosting. I've microwaved this frosting just a little bit for like just five seconds or something. Just dip it in, pull it out. Ah! And here we go. I just use my finger. You can use a spatula if you want, but I like to have fun and get a little messy. Just use your finger, go all the way around, push the frosting down. Do, 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 do. And then again, I'm just going to eyeball it and guess where this goes. I'm guessing this goes here. And then you're just gonna keep doing this for the rest of the little Lego lumps. My lovely Lego lumps, check me. And if one accidentally falls in your mouth, that's okay. That happens all the time when you're baking. Oh! <laughs> and remember, when you're making these, the big Lego bricks have eight of these little nubs, and the small ones have four. Ta-da! Our Lego cakes are all done. They're so cute and amazing. And there was no fondant used, and these were really, really easy to make. Easy mode Lego cakes. I hope you guys liked them. If you have any other ideas for any other nutty nummies, please leave me a comment below, and I will do my best to make them happen. Okay, thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, my God, this Lego cake's so yummy. I just got to take a bite. Yeah, just one little... Oh yeah! Oh god, that was so good. I just gotta have one more. Um, yum, 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 yum. Oh, I'm stuck in the cake. I'm stuck in the cake. <laughs> A little bit too much cake. Uh, oh god. Oh, I think I've overdone it. Oops. Need cake. Uh. <laughs>